Greek of all time. And for the finale, we're going to put all of you in the middle of an 8.3 earthquake. You guys up for that? Yeah! All right. And I'm going to focus on physical effects, which are the illusions that happen during the moment. Ever wonder how we make it rain in the movies? In the old days, the leaders discovered that water didn't show up too well on film. They actually added milk to make it more visible to the camera. Of course, that means Gene Kelly was singing in the milk. How about him? Over the years, filmmakers have used everything from beef to corn plates to chop up chicken cutlets to create snow for the movie. For the ground, they used 150,000 pounds of fresh barbecue. The horror movie Halloween was shot during the spring, so the crew had to buy safe bottles of leaves. But that film was so low budget, they had to gather those leaves up every night and reuse them again the next day. Now these basic effects were only the beginning. In order to create a true special effects extravaganza, we have to combine the simple techniques with some more sophisticated effects. And to show you guys how all that works, I need a few volunteers. First, I need someone really physically fit, male or female, to be our stunt person. Well, the gentleman right from your camera, right back there. You want me to come up there? I can't have you bring him up with you. Here, stay right there. Okay, now I need three adult or adult-sized volunteers, no stunts. Okay, about the two of you raising your hands back there. And how about you right back there? Finally, I need one person to be the weather grip. Kids work really good for this. Who wants to help me create a giant ocean storm? Go right there in the green shirt. Okay, folks, in just a moment, we're going to be entering the Magic Effects Theater. I need all of my volunteers and any guests traveling in wheelchairs or ACVs to please use the very first row. Everybody else select any other row that you like. You guys ready? All right, then follow me.
Just to thank everyone for all that hard work, they were destroyed in a matter of seconds. Now here to tell us more about models and physical effects is Academy Award winning actor and star of Earthquake, Charlie Hustle. Cameras that shoot film ten times faster than it's projected. Watch the parking garage on the right. That's what it looked like in real life. But this is what the high-speed camera lets us see. You've seen how we use models, but now we're going to show you how we do things on a much larger scale. Volunteers make for those waiting for you on the other side of those doors. They'll be ready for your big scene. Stage 67, where our volunteers are going to demonstrate two other tools that filmmakers have at their disposal. Stunts and the blue screen. First, I need our brave stuntman, Richard. Richard, come on up, get the stunt gear, and follow my coordinator, David, backstage. He'll get you ready for that big stunt. Hope he's not afraid of heights. Well, while Richard's getting ready, let's look at some shots from the Oscar-winning film, U571. or jostled to create the illusion of movement on film. And here to show us how it works, we have our volunteer Navy. Who's commanding the vessel today? <laughs> right. Well, behind the set piece and all three of our captains, it's a blue screen. The camera shoots the scene, and then a computer replaces the color blue, allowing us to place our actors in any environment we choose. Like Times Square, if you Tell everyone your name. Lauren. Okay, Lauren. Well, when I say start the rain, you're going to pull this rope, okay? That will activate the rain effect, sending 100 gallons of water from that device onto the heads of our volunteer Navy. But I didn't tell you guys you're going to get wet, right? Okay, great crew. Start rocking and rolling. It's a choppy sea out there. Cue the effects. Lights. Camera. And action. Here's your motivation. You see the hugest storm you've ever seen. So clean out the Hey Richard, you okay up there? 
<laughs> All right, great. Now we're going to make it look like you're hanging by a rope hundreds of feet in the air as you slowly rappel down that stairwell through jagged rebar and broken cement. Tell us, Richard, are you up for that? All right, he's ready to go. Step gear on. Lower him into position. And action. Okay, Richard, just take a small step off, very, very slow. <laughs> Oh, okay. Express pass, that's not what those are used for. Oh my gosh, Richard, wait, I do see movement. Oh, Richard, I don't know which is more impressive. The fact that you provide the three story falls or the fact that you your glasses never left your face. Well, tell us, are you doing okay? All right, he's never been better in his life. Why don't you go see my coordinator, Susan, and she'll get you the number for a good chiropractor. How about another big round of applause for Richard and all of our volunteers? It's not an option, family and friends. You do have to take them back now. Well, as you can see, with the help of physical effects, we're able to do just about anything to bring that action to life. Now, it's time for all of you guys to experience the ultimate physical effect, an 8.3 earthquake. So first, I need my guests traveling in wheelchairs to turn to your right, follow my assistant out onto the platform. Everyone else, you have a different set of instructions. I need you all to rise, turn to your left, Right, good job. Exit out those blue double doors behind you. Now, what's on the. Yeah, so we're 